Hi everyone, my name is Kyle. I am counting down my 40 favorite films since the day I was born. You can go back to the first video to see the why and the how I'm putting this list together. But we've come to number 38 and it's planes, trains, and automobiles. Listen, I am a big comedy fan. I like well told setups and punchlines, physical comedy, and I adore Steve Martin having been shown by my parents probably too early Saturday Night Live. Like I started watching it when I was seven or eight years old. The big person that they lionized, the, like the best host every time was Steve Martin. Always look forward to his appearances. I liked seeing his stand-up, his old stand-up from the 70s. I've read his books. I've seen some of his plays. I am a Steve Martin fanatic. So of course I had to put one of his films on the list. And I think this movie where he's paired with John Candy, one of Canada's greatest exports, it's just so wonderful in the two different styles of comedy, the, the, the kind buffoon that John Candy perfected, but with the acerbic, uptight, smartass that, that Steve Martin could play so well. Such a disappointment that they were never able to pair up again and make, you know, three or four other movies. I think it would have been wonderful. But you put them into this John Hughes scripted film, and it does start off as just your traditional comedy of like, they're just trying to get home for Thanksgiving. Two opposites are forced to be together. Hijinks ensue, but what brings it home and what makes this go on to one of my favorites of all time is that final 20 minutes where we're finally revealed, oh, what we thought was going on actually isn't precisely what is going on. And when the Steve Martin character recognizes that, being the bigger man and going back and you're like, you know what? I've been trying to push you away this entire movie, but I am now going to let my defenses go down and let you in. I just think it's so beautiful and... <laughs> makes me cry every time I watch it. And John Candy sells it so perfectly well. I do think this belongs in the conversation for best films of all time. It's why it's going onto my list in the first place, but just the level of artistry from the writing perspective of how it gives you everything you need to know about those characters so that it does pack a wallop at the end, it's masterful. There's also, of course, that epic meltdown in front of the car rental lady, which is, again, perfect perfect comedy scene. What's your favorite Steve Martin? What's your favorite John Candy? What's your favorite John Hughes? Let me know down in the comments below. Tomorrow though, we'll get to number 37. Those aren't pillows. Ah!